Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Comics Quickies, today we're going to be talking about the 10 most underrated comic books in DC Comics. Now before we get started let me just say that these are my personal opinions so please don't come at me with pitchforks and torches if you don't agree. First up we have, Gotham Central, by Greg Rucker and Ed Brubaker. Now if you're a fan of Batman you know how important Gotham City is to the Dark Knight's mythos. But what about the cops who have to deal with all the crazy crime and chaos on a daily basis? Gotham Central is a gritty realistic look at the Gotham City Police Department and the challenges they face trying to keep the city safe. It's like Law and Order, SVU, but with more capes and cowls. Next we have The Question by Dennis O'Neill and Dennis Cowan. Now you might be thinking, who the heck is The Question? Well my friend he's one of the coolest characters in the DC Universe. He's a vigilante who wears a mask that makes his face look like a blank slate and he's always asking philosophical questions about life and justice. Plus he's got some serious martial arts skills. Moving right along we have, Shade the Changing Man, by Steve Ditko and Peter Milligan. This one is a trip people. It's about a guy named Shade who can travel between dimensions and has a coat that can turn into anything he wants. Oh and did I mention he's being pursued by a group of aliens who want to capture him. It's like if, Doctor Strange, and, Men in Black, had a baby. Fourth on our list is, The Sandman Mystery Theater, by Matt Wagner and Guy Davis. This one is a must-read for fans of pulp fiction and film noir. It takes place in the 1930s and follows the adventures of Wesley Dodds, a millionaire playboy who moonlights as the vigilante Sandman. The artwork is beautiful, the writing is top-notch and it's just oozing with atmosphere. Next up we have, Animal Man, by Grant Morrison and Chaz Trug. Now I know what you're thinking, Animal Man, isn't he that guy who can talk to animals or something? Yes but he's also so much more than that. In this run Morrison takes Animal Man on a psychedelic journey that explores the nature of reality the power of fiction and the meaning of life. Plus there's a cameo from a certain dark knight that you won't want to miss. Moving right along we have, Hawkwald, by Timothy Truman and Tom Mandrake. This one is a retelling of the origin of the Hawkman and Hawkgirl set on an alien planet ruled by a fascist regime. It's got political intrigue epic battles and some seriously cool wings. If you're a fan of sci-fi and fantasy this one is a must read. Up next we have, The Demon, by Jack Kirby. Now I know what you're thinking. The Demon, isn't that some cheesy 70s horror comic? Well yes and no. It's definitely got some cheesy moments but it's also one of Kirby's most creative and visually stunning works. It's about a demon named Etrigan who is summoned to Earth to battle evil but he's also got a human alter ego named Jason Blood who is cursed to live forever. It's like if, Spawn, and, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, had a baby. Next on our list is, Omega Men, by Tom King and Barnaby Bagender. Now you might be thinking, Omega who? The Omega Men are a group of intergalactic freedom fighters who are trying to overthrow a tyrannical empire. They're led by a mysterious alien named Tigor and their ranks include a shape-shifting princess, a telepathic dolphin and a plant-like alien named Brute. It's like, Star Wars, meets, Guardians of the Galaxy, but with more political intrigue. Eighth on our list is, Secret Six, by Gail Simone and Nicola Scott. This one is about a group of supervillains who are hired by a mysterious benefactor to carry out a series of dangerous missions. It's like, The A-Team, but with more morally ambiguous characters. The team includes Catman Deadshot and Bane and they're constantly bickering and trying to outdo each other. And last but not least we have, The New Gods, by Jack Kirby. This one is a classic that doesn't get enough love. It's about two warring planets named New Genesis and Apocalypse and the epic battle between their rulers Highfather and Darkseid. It's got gods, monsters, cosmic powers and some seriously trippy artwork. If you're a fan of, Thor, or, Guardians of the Galaxy, you'll love, The New Gods. Well that's it for our list of the 10 most underrated comic books in DC Comics. And if you haven't read any of these comics yet what are you waiting for? Go out and give them a read. Until next time keep on reading and keep on laughing.